pretend that you're an insurance representative and you're going to call them and sell them a policy. You have uh, the list of dentists and let's say it's in the state of Texas because Texas has a lot of dentists and also California. So <clears throat> you have a really big pool to call. Well, if you're selling insurance, one example of a, of a message that you would leave on their machine is just to get you to call them, just to get them to call you back. So it might go something like this. The, the dialer calls and it, uh, here's their message. Hi, you've reached the office of Dr. John Doe, dentist for Houston, Texas. Please leave your name and number at the sound tone. Beep, so the uh, dialer leaves this message. Hi, this is James. I got your number from a colleague. He said that I should give you a call. Anyway, sorry I missed you. I look forward to speaking with you real soon. Uh, my number is 555 That's just a really general message. It will get people to call back. Another type of message is a straightforward message. It says, Hi, this is James. I got your number from a colleague. He said that I should give you a call because you would be interested in a insurance policy that I've written for her and uh, saved her a lot of money. My name is James, 555-1212. Thanks. So you, you see what I'm doing here. I'm just giving you two examples of, a, of what's called a blind message. It had no purpose whatsoever. Just that you got their number from a colleague and the other message actually is the same but has one variable difference it has just a little bit of specifics about it just enough to whet their curiosity and get them to call you back 